tell us what you love about the Waikato, what your favourite part of the region is and why. Well, I'm Waikato born and bred, so I was raised here. I grew up swimming in the Waikato River and this whole area of Huntley was our playground. So we have many lakes and many things that we could do without spending any money. Unfortunately, that is not the story for the youth of this town. That's not their inheritance. But I think that if I could look forward to a future where my granddaughter can at least fish here, and maybe her grandchildren once again will be able to take part in this playground like I had when I was a kid. What do you see as being the big issues for the Waikato region over the next 10 years? I think the major um, issues for this region, uh, particularly with regards to how we manage our water, so that's not only the three waters, of um, wastewater, stormwater and water for sanitation and etc. But that's also um, the quality of the water and the amount of water that we're using in our catchment. So that's Waikato wide issue and I think um, all our communities expect us to be much wiser in our use and allocation of such a uh, scarce resource. Um, I think for a long time we've, we've always thought there's an abundance of water in the Waikato, especially when you live here. But how we're using it um, in this modern age and the demands on it have increased. So the more we understand that as communities and take part in those, that fundamental decision making, it's really important for the Waikato going forward. The other key issue for our region is, is of course growth. We have a very young demographic in the Waikato who aren't engaged in the traditional sectors of farming. So we need to find a way forward that includes everybody from all our communities and um, ways in which they can continue to enjoy their lifestyle here while working perhaps in Auckland. So public transport providing alternative forms of transport to key employers throughout the region would be a huge advantage for us going forward. Describe how you think the council can resolve these issues. So in looking at um, how how we're looking after our water resources. We have various responsibilities as council that we must undertake on behalf of the community. So upholding that role through having the appropriate plans and policies in place to give effect to those plans, reporting well, improving our whole community's water literacy, their understanding about these key decisions, those are ways that council can be really useful and effective in the whole water conversation. And then looking forward to creating um, development opportunities in our region, especially for that youth um, population that I was talking about. We need to have new ways of having conversations across generations, because the generation who, who are now planning for it a uh, long way from the technological generation who will be experiencing it. So that's why we're looking at internet, um, different ways of getting that communication and that valuable input from that demographic. Also thinking about how towns are going to develop with Auckland coming ever closer um, and where the new jobs might be in our region to make sure that those transport routes are available. We have all the facility and our planning processes for council to create those futures.